The registry in a Microsoft Windows server is where all the settings are kept and all the programs and every other type of configuration is kept, and it's kept in two different files. However, you can access both of those files just by right-clicking and choosing Run and typing Reg Edit. And that gives us access to the registry. So if we click on all these different areas, we can get information about various different keys that are installed and configured on the server. So before we make any changes to the registry, we want to back it up. So here's what we do. So we go to the very top of the registry where it says computer, and from here we right click and we choose export. The next thing we want to do is choose the location where we want to put it. So let's go ahead and choose the drop down menu, and in this case we'll just do right to the root of the C drive. And we'll just put in reg edit backup, which is a backup of the entire registry. We'll go ahead and click save. And depending on how big your registry is, it could take anywhere from a few seconds to many minutes, and also how fast your computer is as well. And the older the operating system is, you know, has been installed on the computer, the bigger the uh, registry gets. So it starts out fairly small, but over time it gets bigger and bigger, and you could end up with a size in the gigabyte range. So let's go ahead and go to this PC. There we go. And we can see that it backed up 215 megabytes. This is a brand new installation, so it's not very big. Now, if you forget to back up your registry, that's okay. Microsoft actually will automatically back up your registry for you before major changes are made. However, if you're just about to make direct edits to the registry, then you may not get one of these backups. Typically, it does a backup when a new program is installed or other major changes like Windows updates are done. So what you can do to find that, just in case you need it, is you go to the Windows folder and you go to System32. Then you'll go to Config, and there's a folder called Reg Back. And there's the five keys that make up the various different registry settings. So if you want to restore your, uh, your registry, just in case something goes hor horribly wrong, let's go ahead and take our uh, registry back up here. What you can do is all you have to do is just double-click on it. When you double-click on it, it will automatically put everything back in. So if you made any changes, it will undo those changes. The one risk you may run into is if you make a change and you restart and then your computer is unable uh, to get back in because you did something to the registry to make it unbootable. In that case, you can boot off the DVD and then from there you can go in to the safe mode command prompt and you can restore the registry from there. So that's how we back up and restore the registry in Microsoft Windows Server 2016.